Ah, so it is good day to you, good day to you, good day again, again, again. Ah. So now that you know all about numerology, and you know who you are, why you are, where you are, and what in the world is going on, <laughs> you know that that is truly the divine order of things. When you talk to the astrologers and they do the name of Donald Trump, they come up with the same information. Exactly that Donald Trump in, even though it was a big shock for all, whether you voted or not, as, as the dearest Lee says, that it is a part of the divine order of this culture, of this land. It is all of those things put together. And the reason why it is important for each of you to learn in that numerology and astrology and all, Kabbalah, all of those energies, is because the more you know yourself, the more you can be yourself. And the more you are yourself, you give others permission to be themselves. And as others are being themselves, it is so important for that vibrational frequency to know that it raises your vibration in 152% greater than what it might have been before. So do your numbers, do your numerology, do the energy. Know that when you have the master number in your name, to know that you may be a master, as we know all of you are masters, yes? And with each of you being those masters, it is time for you to teach that master as well. Teach the masters that are around you. You see, when you open your heart chakra, all the energy keeps coming round about and keeps bumping here and bumping there. And with that open heart, you know you get the opportunity to see clearly. You get the opportunity to hear with your heart. See with your ears and touch with your eyes. Because that is the new vibration of this land is to have a completely new change, a completely new energy. And the more, if you feel yourself being frustrated, we know you know this, but we're going to tell you anyway because someone back there in the back of the room still needs to hear it. If you're still trying to do the things the way you did them before 2012, that is where the frustration comes from. Because they're not going to work that way. Everything is new. Everything is different. Uh, Woohoo! Celebrate that, eh? As that energy comes through, you know you are a different being than you were in 2011, yes? It's like everybody thought the world was going to end. It didn't. It was just all anew. As we knew it before, it was different. You are different today than you were yesterday. Yes? So know that as you are evolving, absolutely everything in your world is evolving as well. And it is high time you might as well celebrate that. Because when you celebrate it, all of those changes, they're going to be there anyway. So you might as well celebrate it. Because if you push against the change, what happens? That change pushes back, exactly. Uh, John, huh? thank you, very smart. The change pushes back. The energy pushes back. And the more you push against it, the bigger that is going to get. What is that they say, those wise folks like cry on what, you know, what you persist, what you resist persists. You know, all of that energy as it is coming through is about acknowledging the divinity that you are. And we know we tell you this over and over and over. But every cell of your body, every particle, every atom in your field is that divinity. That same energy that is shifted and shared with all other humans on this planet. So when you start dividing the planet up and say, well, they must be wrong because they don't agree with me, that is not the way it works. 
You know they make chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry for a reason. What some resonate with this, and some resonate with that, and some resonate with something else, that does not make one wrong or the other wrong. That just makes it different. And ideally, what all the channels of the planet are coming together to help each of the humans learn is about that divinity that is within. So therefore, the peace that you are can ignite and be a particle of humanity. And as that particle of humanity comes through, as you know, we said earlier, your particle bumps into someone else's particle, and their particle bumps into someone else's particle, and before you know it, you've got the whole particle dance. And all the particles dancing together, and when they dance together, then what happens in the heart? What happens when you dance? Besides when you have to close your eyes so you know that you're invisible and you get worried about you, the way you look when you're dancing. But what happens when you dance is you feel that joy of the physical body. You feel the movement of the physical form. You feel the focus of that energy and you acknowledge that it is your birthright. And if you don't feel joy when you are dancing, it is only because someone said, you are not a good dancer, so you get that imprint, and so let that go, pop that out of yourselves, and know that when you close your eyes, they can't see you anyway. <laughs> yes? So then you can dance all you want. Because it is still your birthright. Someone asked us earlier, so we gave you four elements of compassion, but we didn't give you the last two. Uh, we actually gave you three elements, but we kind of spun right over them. The four elements of compassion, so we're going to bring that up for whoever asked the question earlier. The four elements as we see compassion, which may not be the way anyone else describes it, <laughs> the world according to Adironda. <laughs> uh, peace. Love, of course. Joy, your birthright and community. Because you see, you are social beings. Even if you are the Lone Ranger, even if you want to go off on your mountain and live by yourself, that is fine. You are still a part of the community of the trees and the rocks and the plants. Community in this element is so important. That is why Lee, our dearest Lee and Cryon and beings are gathering people together every weekend, even on a plane. Uh, every weekend they are gathering energies together because community helps you. Community supports you. They are your cheerleaders. They help you pick you up when you are down. They help acknowledge you when you are when you are hurt. They help when you when your your car bumps into another car. They come. The community comes in to help you there. They support you. Community. So gather your community together in your town, in your in your home. Bring people in to meditate. Bring people in to listen to the cryon channelings. Bring people in to listen to the double digit. We've been doing the numbers for a very long time too. So bring those energies together. Where two or more are gathered, miracles happen. Where two or more are gathered, we see that it magnifies that energy times 144. So when you have two people together, that's the energy of 288. When you have four people together, that's a lot more. <laughs> Pull out your little calculators and figure it out, huh? Community, that is the soul of compassion. You understand? With that soul of compassion, your energy and your vibration shifts the consciousness in mass. Shifts the consciousness of this planet. So, you can indeed be who you are because you know who you are and you give yourself permission to be who you are 24-7 and you don't live in the closet, you don't live in, in, in a hibernation necessarily. Even if your community is nature, it is still about community. And you must have those four elements 
to live through that compassionate energy that appears to be chaos right now. Because from chaos comes change. And we know that change is a part of us. We also love that five number. Because that five number is, is so asymmetrical. When we do the numbers, we go in the physical form to one is the pillar standing alone. One has not a strong foundation aboard, but it still stays upright. Now we see the zero of the 2017 year as the zero being source. All things together. So you've got the one and you've got the source together blending, igniting into these times, into these wondrous elements of change. The five itself being changed, it has to balance, yes? It's got that rolly bottom on it and it's got the top head that just gets a little heady here and it's got the straight line and a big curve, like a big pregnant belly and it's got to balance. So that is why it's going to change one way or another. Huh? Acknowledge that energy. Acknowledge the focus of who you are within that element of change. Many years ago when the change was upon us, what we saw was everyone that we came in contact with would gather all their change, you know, their coins in their pockets, put them in a beautiful bowl and say, I love change. So they've got this big beautiful bowl of change, right? And they're entering to, to just honor the energy of change. You might as well, can't hurt. And then, and then one day you get to buy yourself something with all that change. <laughs> You see, it is all in the, your perspective, in how you look at things, how you honor things, and how you focus. So trust that. Trust yourself. Trust that change will occur. And allow that flow to move through it. Namaste. Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. All that has been said is accurate and true. And dear ones, you're going to five, find the channelings of the age allied in this. And the message is beautiful and difficult. I want to talk about you in a way we've done before, but maybe one you've not experienced. How old are you? Don't count the years. I said, how old are you? You're ancient. All of you, every single one. And there are those who would say, well, I'm not really sure of that. I don't believe that. I have no evidence of that. Take away that which is cerebral for a moment and just go inside. You are a knowing human being. You wouldn't be in this meeting unless you were at least asking the question, is this real? The knowingness inside is not an intellectual pursuit or result of anything logical. You know things. You know that there is a great deal out there that you are not aware of, but that somehow you're part of. In that knowing state, how old are you? What if I told you yet again that this galaxy is one of many in a universe that is one of many and that as far back as you want to project in years, light years, computations, as far back as you can count, you are there. 
a part of you which you call the soul. And we use a word that you've never even heard. A word we say in light that means family. You've never heard. You can't hear light. But when you're not here, you can. And if you were not here, and if you were with me, with the creative source right now, and we said the word in our own language, in our own way, in light, you would resound to it because it's home. That's how old you are. It means you watched this earth in its molten state. Wherever you were, you watched it in its molten state. Dear ones, the soul that you think you are is more complex than you know. Pieces and parts so divine that they are still with the Creator now. You call it your higher self. We call it family in light. Part of you is on the other side of the veil. There is a connection to the human being and the higher self. It goes through the veil and it is seen in laughter and in joy and in love. And compassion is the cord that connects you to it. And when you are exhausted in laughter, you are connected to God. Can't you feel it? That's what you feel that is so infectious. That's what you'd like to bottle. and Pull out any time you wanted to. That is the elusive thing. That joy, that inner child that is so much part of God. But it's you, believe me. Part of you is on the other side. You were here all along. You have been many places in this galaxy before Earth ever had life on it. And yet there was part of you on the other side as well. In whatever form you were in 3D in this galaxy, perhaps performing the same thing you're doing today, there was still part of you with the creative source. You watched this earth develop. And you knew what it was about. The meaning of life, what is it? Really, what is it? The meaning of life is literally the meaning of love. Can you take society and put it together and by itself, without even knowing there's anything outside, have itself eventually lift itself to a benevolent and graduate state? That is the puzzle of life. And I will tell you something. The answer is yes. And that's what you've done. And that's been done before in this galaxy and by those with names and light that are you. You're bigger than you think, and here it is again. Don't be afraid of change, for it is the catalyst of harmony. Change will put things together eventually that will synchronize into one field. That has been proven in physics. My partner will speak of it tomorrow. And you may not understand what I'm telling you, but I am saying you've seen this before. And yet in 3D, without you being able to see anything across the veil, for some it is fearful. For some it is disappointing. For some they're really ready for it. The old soul has to put aside the boxes of bias and smile for what is occurring on this planet that we said would be here. There is more to this story than you know, and it will show itself. The potentials are there for something that you don't expect. And we have said that before. 
Dear ones, are you prepared to look at all of these things in a circumspect way as an old soul who's been here from the beginning? There was a time when there was only beginning life on this planet where we saw this and you saw this. And I want to tell you what you did. There are billions of souls here. And I want to tell you what you did. You said, I want to be part of it. I want to be the gender that I am now, and I want to be part of this shift when it comes. I'm going to adjust my lifespan for it. And it might mean that you came and went quick so you could come back and be part of this right now at the age you are. How does that make you feel? You said, I'm not going to miss this party. I'm going to be part of the shift and the change. And you are. And the reason you said that, all the, of, of that eons ago, the reason you said that, because you knew that you'd be an old soul. And more than likely, you'd be able to help this shift in the light you carry. And you couldn't wait to do it. That's who you are. Older than old. Uncountable in years. And known by God, every single one. This is the message of Cryon, given over and over. And it coordinates with all of the other channels of this planet, who right now are here because of the shift, and giving you the same message over and over and over, in their way, in words that are different. But it's the same thing. There is more here than you think. A lot more. Brian, you've said there are things coming, I'm afraid. It's your choice, isn't it? Why does change elicit fear? And the reason is because in an old energy, dear ones, change almost always meant bad things. And that is the human bias. Everything in the future is a repeat of everything in the past. I've got a message tonight all about that. And something that is changing that you never thought would change. The very internal structure of spirituality may be shifting. I will tell you that. One of the biggest changes that spirit asks you to accept is that the past is not the future. The past is not the future. The past is not the future. All you have seen is a repeat of what you've seen. Now turn the page and see it as different. Can you do it? Can you change a paradigm of thought to the degree that you will not be influenced by what always was? And that's tough for the human who depends on what happened before to know how to act in the future. It's a one year. It is the one year. The one past the shift. It is the beginning of paradigm change. And it doesn't come easy. If I told you you might have to do it incorrectly before you saw what was correct, would you accept it? It means there's work to do. It means that there are things that may fall on their faces before there seem to not work anymore. That there's old energy things that always work, then won't work in the future. Doesn't it make sense to you that when you start to graduate into a new energy, the old things don't apply? If you can get used to that message, you can relax. 
What is it you're going to learn? Prepare. What you're going to learn is wisdom about what doesn't work. And then you will shift it into wisdom that will. That's all part of that which is being on the planet Earth as an old soul. Lighthouses awake. Strike your lights. And shine this like you never have before. And so it is. <laughs>